Hey everybody, we're back with another exciting personal finance video. A topic that everybody just loves to discuss, but everybody screws up on, so that's why we have to talk about it, right? Because everybody can always do better. So we are gonna do this video. We're gonna do a um, video about life insurance, because Denise and I were talking about that recently. And I don't have life insurance, I'm 52. Denise is 51. We don't have any dependents. I think you get life insurance for free through your work. Yeah, that most people who have an office job, which Mike has never had, get one and a half times their salary for life insurance. Yeah, So, but the question is, who needs life insurance? How much, what type, this kind of stuff. Uh, I did need it when I was younger. When I had kids, my kids are on their own now. They're adults, same with Denise. Uh, so we have three kids between us and they are able to take care of themselves. They're not lo no longer dependent. So when you have dependents, whether that's kids or I don't know, uh, maybe you have a really expensive dog to take care of or yeah, something. I don't you know, even know what. An, an elderly parent. <laughs> yeah, but still, th that's a different situation. You have to look at like if you were to die as the one who's basically sole supporter or mostly supporter or half supporter of a household, how would the rest of the people survive financially? Now, you don't, they don't need to be taken care of for the rest of their lives with health insurance, or sorry, with life insurance, but they do need to get over this hurdle of losing a big income provider. If you, they were dependent on your income because of work that you were doing. Well, it was passive. A, an elderly parent who may have lived with you, for example, <laughs> and depended on you for survival. Well, in that case, in most cases, though, elderly parents would be covered under Medicare, Medicaid, the government would take care of them. But like the, the children, if there's kids, younger kids, that's what you really got to be concerned about. There's no nothing in place other than the foster care system to take care of the kids, I guess, you know. So you need to have some kind of a backup. And that's why during your income earning years when you're not financially independent or not even close you should carry life insurance you should have enough to get people through it shouldn't be a thing where the kids never have to work another day in their lives or whatever you know it shouldn't be like winning the lottery because you probably don't have enough money to buy a policy like that anyway because you're working and at times are tough they're always tough at, the, at those times so you should find like the least expensive term life insurance that you can buy um, term is uh, is nothing fancy. You're just getting the coverage that we're talking about right here. It's not like a investment plan. Some of these are sold as investment plans, and I they're dubious as to whether they're actually beneficial or not, depending on your financial situation. You know what I'm talking right. about? You don't want whole life. You want term <laughs> yeah, life. <laughs> yeah. So keep all this in mind, and the goal should be to not to get to a position financially where you don't need life insurance anymore. Even before your kids are no longer, um, you no longer have dependents. You just have to build up enough of a nest egg or enough of some passive income to the point where it doesn't matter if you're alive or not, even though you should still stay alive. We don't want you to stay alive. That they're not going to be in a financial crisis all of a sudden if, if you were to die. Anything else to add to uh, that? When I was looking to buy a life insurance policy, they asked if I was married. And the question is like, well, why? <laughs> um, is it because if I were married and my spouse had an income and I bought life insurance and had him as a beneficiary, there were, he would he would not need that benefit. So the agent might not even sell me a policy. So that, that's why. Might not sell you a policy? Right, because you don't need <laughs> my extra income if something happened to me. You don't have a vested uh, interest in it. So they might not even give it Well, that's, the, my <laughs> experience has been kind of almost the opposite. It's been like, everyone's trying to oversell me. They're trying to sell me way more coverage than I need. Because like I said, you don't need a fund your kid's retirement out of your life insurance policy. You're just trying to hold everybody over so that they can take care of themselves in whatever way they want to do. And the other thing is they're trying to sell me like the whole life you were talking about or the investment plans, which I didn't want to do because I didn't... Uh, the problem with this is the people who need the life insurance are usually in delicate financial situations and they don't have extra money. If they had all this extra money, they wouldn't need the life insurance. You know, so it's like a catch-22 almost. So only get the bare minimum, only get what you need. Like Denise said, they might not even sell it to you, but get what you can get if you if you do the calculations and you need it. And there's plenty of resources online where you can figure out what you might need. But again, just get the bare minimum. Don't get anything extra. You're not even gonna be around. It's not like they're gonna win the lottery. And if you make it so that they everyone wins the lottery when you die, 
someone may come after you. <laughs> you don't want, you don't want to make it like that either. More valuable Yeah, you don't want that to happen. So that's all I have to add. Let us know in the comments your experience or how much you think we should buy. Rule of thumb, this kind of stuff. Links uh, for good resources on that. And um, and then let us know if you don't need life insurance anymore. If you've already gotten past that point in your life, or maybe if you never have kids, you'll never need life insurance. You know. So that's it. Bye. One last thing for Denise. Uh, I've heard this in the news so many times. If someone gets accused of murdering their spouse, it's usually because they took out a million dollar life insurance policy just weeks before they mysteriously died. Yeah, uh, yep.